So yes, finally, finally, finally. So of course I'm back with another really quick, uh, of course Pokemon um, video. So of course though, so, this probably won't take too too long to go over. But the next episode will be of course it's Clement Nash reuniting once more. Of course, um, go check another back in the episode. Just kidding. Though. Of course though, so, just gonna go over it really quick. Uh, I've been burning these episode reviews so fast now, so it's kind of just easy and simple to go over everything. Though. So of course, but yeah, uh, of course Ash actually gets decided to um, just being like just to jump right in because like, I got another episode review right after this, and Ash battling is battling. The Dragon Elite 4 member was like Dresta? Something like that? I can't remember her name for life, I mean, it's all long. So, of course, of course, the Magic Progress, of course, in the World Coordination Series, or you know, World Tournament, as people call it in Japan. <laughs> this game, I mean, it, it is really though. Uh, of course, Ash actually get the idea to go trim a Clement in Lumia City since they're already near college and everything. Of course, of course, you see, um, Ash, you know, slowly, um, you know, I was thinking of the opponent and everything. Of course, though, um, but yeah, let me just go here. But yeah, I get very simple for it, probably to understand though, of course, that's just gonna go to Clement. Well, go actually catches Froki, which is kind of, you know, we already know what's gonna happen. It's hitting at one of the next episodes coming up, Ash, of course, and Lucario, and like, Ash Grenade are coming back and stuff like that, which everybody wanted. At this point, Jersey's just pretty much fan service, of course. But yeah, of course, we see Bonnie come back again with the spotlight. Of course, we see Clement actually battling um, in the gym with his um, luck right. So, of course, Ash getting excited. Went to the gym and everything, of course, though. And, of course, Ash and Clement, or Clement, I really want to go with that. Of course, meet again. So, it's really cool and stuff like that, of course. I actually like that. So, of course, um, they meet once more. Of course, and he introduces our Pokemon. Dragonite goes to Clement, which is actually pretty funny. And Dragonfish goes to Ash, which is actually still pretty funny. Yes, of course. We actually see um, all the Pokemon, of course. We actually see Diggersby evolve, too. So, um, Bunnaby evolved from Diggersby. Sean hates that. <laughs> Sean, you're going to be bad about that yeah of course we see um got like farfetch training as well though um it seems like it's unlocking like a new move at the same time dragonfish is really inspired slash you know crazy about it though so of course it runs towards it well gallier farfetch just kind of just gets mad and stuff like that though of course but yeah um then of course we see you know get bobbed over and stuff like that of course it's gonna keep trying and trying and trying while dragonfish is just getting distracted doing its own thing though so yeah you know, this is pretty much the whole episode, pretty much not plot though, of course, the trying to go solve the movie, trying to do and stuff like that, of course. It's not just Focus Blast, I can't really kind of tell. I said Future Save, but I would say Focus Blast. Because every time Galia Farfur, Farfur, Galia 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 Little Dragonite's face right there. I guess it's cool, like Dragonite is all over cool. It's kind of funny though. But then of course, um, Ghost is struggling with Froki, and while they both get knocked out, yeah, that just happens. I guess pretty much both of them turn off together and stuff like that during the whole um, episode, pretty much though. Then of course, uh, we see of course Ghost struggling with Froki, finally catches it and stuff like that. Of course though, um, so it's really cool. Um, look at this one. Okay, I decided to make sure. I was like, what the heck? Sorry, I bought that for a second. But yeah, of course, Guy actually catches it and stuff like that. Really good, though. Reads the description and everything. Of course, they, um, Bonnie actually offers um, the go, of course, to um, Clement um, and stuff like that. Of course, to meet him. Then, of course, um, they just have uh, Ash and, of course, Clement you know, going from both of their perspectives. I'm trying to basically learn everything they can. So yeah, it's good to see Clement back in, of course, his way. Of course, Ash as well. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, of course, we see Gob Go and Bonnie go up to the gym. Of course, we see Tadene and a Pikachu rebonding. Obviously, of course, Go finally got Froki, which definitely does make sense. We see Go and Ob, of course. Clement, which actually is a pretty good idea for the meeting because they both like. I mean, Go sees everything from a Richard's perspective. Of course, Clement wants to see <clears throat> everything as a Pokemon trainer and, of course, a scientist and a creator, of course. And he, Clement was just kind of cool, though, like in XOY. A lot of people was like, oh, he was bad. I mean, he was pretty good, you know. He, and he really just liked courage. And with Ash, they were pretty much like, kind of like brothers in a way, which is pretty cool. Goes to come out, which actually I forgot about that too. Of course, uh, we see everybody reunite once more. Of course, and of course, Bonnie sees all the actually Pokemon and stuff like that. Of course, typical her though. It's always nice to see Bonnie once in a while though. Of course, of course, everybody starts to train up. Of course, getting ready for um, I say training, just getting ready in general though. So it's really cool. Of course, you see uh, Farfetch just comes out of analysis, basically going over the movie stuff like that. Of course, so um, yeah, it's good to see Bonnie and Dragonfish kind of bond. That's actually pretty cool. Um. But yeah, they're just trying to figure out the whole movement and stuff like that, of course. Simic is building up energy from the point of its leak and stuff like that, of course. Uh, you know, Gali Farfetch was leak and stuff like that, of course. So, yeah, um... Yeah, then, of course, they get the idea to battle with them and stuff like that, of course. Again, Ghost trying to figure out more from his, his perspective. While Ash, you know, tried to train with them, getting in sync of his Pokemon. Typical Ash stuff, though, so... It's pretty much, um, kind of it right there, though. Um, of course, they're building it up more and more and more while Ash, you know, cheering it on and stuff like that. So, yeah. Of course, that's super. I'm so proud of it. That of course, we see Clement and Bond. I'm um, Clement, and of course, um, 
Could they go, of course, you know, Meyer Ash, you know, talking about Miss and whatnot, of course, how they both got courage from him and stuff like that, though. So, of course, we see Gallifrey Farfetch actually, you know, making progress and stuff like that, though. So, um, still, we got to move down packs and everything, of course, though. And then it blows everything up, though. Pretty much, though. So, yeah, everybody just gets blown back and messed up, though. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much happens, though. So, yeah. But yeah, we knew that was gonna happen. Of course, so come on, of course, you know, Ash comes up with his own plan, basically have a double battle and stuff like that. Of course, this gives motivation, energy, phones for Galia Farfetch. We see Dark Official as well. So of course, they start to battle with each other and stuff like that. Of course, yeah. Of course, coming, um, agrees. We see Bonobi. We see, I don't know, Digger three. We see, of course, the Cario training as well as, uh, well as um. I think looks right. Yeah, it looks right. I say Dust Noir, Dust, uh, Lo Dust Noir, whatever. But of course, they start to balance stuff like that. Of course, they do this stuff like that. Well, um, Farfetch is the same thing. And while, um, of course, they just start to go in, not really listening to Ash, though, of course. Again, like I said, they really just try to start doing their own thing. Of course, got like Farfetch running the moments and training to have Ash. Of course, finally pulls off his move. While Dragonfish, of course, pulling off his own move as well. Which I think is Dragon Rush, I believe. Because it looked like it's Dragon Rush. But, um, look like he, um, puts off. I think this for, again, every series they usually change up with the moves to, like, they make him always look a little bit different though, but of course he actually falls out, um, sorry about that, I had um, ice cream sandwich, like, before I, um, re-recorded it, my part of the video. It's getting, like, right my teeth, man, earlier! But yeah, of course, though, uh, of course we see, um, everybody just trying to kind of get confused about it, though, but yeah, of course, they're gonna be trying to block it, but of course the edge utterly bruises his way through it. I think it's, like, what, Hydro Pump or something like that, from the two? They like Dragon Rush, though, but of course they've actually finally saw their, um, Everything, of course, they solved everything, they trained up and everything. Of course, really good episode, though. Again, very simple, very easy and stuff like that. Of course, we see um, Dragonfish being happy as well, as well as the Gully of Far Fridge. Of course, we see them um, create a bond with each other, which I see is pretty cool. I like it, though. Even though it's by his leaf, though, which is very really cool. Of course, we see other woes. So, we see other wares. Other wares, other wares. We see elsewhere, of course, we see a certain person training to fight the Ash, though. Of course, we see two, his former Loki low episode person, <laughs> training and stuff like that. Of course, even though the Dragon types demolish Steel types, and Steel types pretty much get demolished in that game anyway. X and Y, where they. Yeah, I use fire types. Um, no, Steel is strong against Dragon, I think. No, it's Fairy. I'm sorry, it's Fairy and Dragon, I believe now. They change the typings for it. But yeah. Uh, of course, the episode ends off there, of course, it goes on to the next episode, technically, though, and I will review that in a separate video. But yeah, again, not a bad episode for him to go back and stuff like that, of course. Um, again, like I said, though, I um, want to make these reviews kind of short, though, just because the videos get done faster. I can talk about it a lot more. A video like right here though but yeah um again pretty good episode for coming to come back and really interesting too like ash is just again ash kind of just decides all this stuff like going to alola see all his friends again uh this right here of course with the perfect example of him basically going to train with clement so he can all come on how you want to pronounce it um train with them him and go actually are probably gonna be really interesting because they both kind of like science and you know, research kind of things though of course and that's actually gonna be pretty cool from the both grow up characters, which actually I would actually love. It's cool, I'll go kind of broken. We already know what that's gonna leave off into anyway, though. But yeah, again, Ash training up the battle, um, using his friends to help out and stuff like that. Pretty cool. I know everybody in the mom's thinking Serena might come back in the other uh, Sylveon episode, which should be airing next, because we technically got two episodes in the one right here, which is actually pretty cool. I thought they're gonna be separate, but they're burning these episodes really fast, like the Cario and Greninja episode is coming up. We got, um, of course, these two episodes in the one. They're really rushing through these new batch episodes really fast. fast. And goes quick doing her own um, you know, fashion thing. Oh lord, hopefully they don't do it with Chloe and make her like another May Dawn Serena Clone Contest 2.0 because they, they did pretty much do that with not all the girls, but just all of them. They're pretty much in Pokemon. It's just really crazy because Chloe's a new character and I really like where they're going with her. She doesn't know what she wants to do and she wants to pretty much, I mean, she, she decides to do like everything as much as she can. I take that as a dream bonus just because, you know, she wants to travel the world, maybe do her own thing. You know, scaring the Pokemon kind of like Ash does it. I would actually love that as well, like again, because again, they already building up to her character arc. We seem like we're going near the climax of the journeys um, arc where we're going to journeys for Ash because, you no, know, I did see the next trailer for the Cario. And you're near the, the, the Cario Ninja episode. We got some Rocket um, Underground, I think, Rocket Radio episode. I know a little uh, episode for Team Rocket, which is pretty still still pretty good and stuff like that. And then, of course, like I said, the Cario and uh, Agro Ninja episode might actually just probably be the highest of the episode because I know everybody and their mom is going to wait for me to review that episode. Plus, on top of that as well, again, the episode's going to be really, really red and high. Plus, on top of that as well, again, everybody loves Lucario and Greninja, and everybody really wants Ash Greninja back for a real long time. And then on top of that as well, again, the episode's going to be really cool. 
again, this will be an episode. It might be the next one that everybody that I'm sticking at. Or if it isn't, then yeah, Serena might be coming back. Continue at it with her, you know, so be on the field and stuff like that. Good again, Chloe at this point is meaning every EV evolution. I'm not going to start that she gets like an EV evolution to Crystal. At this point, just does what she wants to. But yeah, good go in the video there for sure. Like the episode, pretty good, pretty calm. I got the next one to review, so. Yeah, see you guys later though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great. All cool to you know. So I stay safe. Wash your hands. God bless. All of you going out. Put on more masks. I'm told people are really, really need to get vaccinated if you can. Typical stuff. You already know it. So what you guys think about all this info though? Of course, like like, you hate it again. Pretty calm episode. Like calm before the Dragon Storm. So yeah. Oh, Dragon Storm. That's a really good episode title. Dragon Storm. The ultimate awakening. The ultimate premise. The ultimate something. Something, something Pokemon opening. Yeah, some dragon, something Pokemon, something power, friendship, electricity's friendship. I don't know, typical stuff. I can go on and on and on though. But yeah, power of electricity, friendship, dragon, vault, something, blah, 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 galley or far fetch. So I'll, I'll think of something. Yes, it is higher as heck where I am now, and I'm no fan of my room at all. the fit. <laughs> so yeah, I miss the fan, man. I don't know, fan in here. <sighs> In your man's hot, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. okay. I got it. See you guys there, though. Okay, nope, it's out.